We have recently moved into an AW169, and as our mission has changed over the years, parts of it stay the same. We still first respond in the county. We're still part of their county 911 system, but we go further and further out um, to retrieve patients and bring them back into Travis County, whether that be on our own or whether one of our specialty team partners. AW169 allows us to do that with more space, more payload, and it, we're, we're slowly moving into the IFR world, and it's gonna be a great IFR platform for that. We're excited uh, about becoming an instrument program, and uh, the four axis uh, autopilot is definitely gonna help us with that. One of the features of the aircraft, which is nice, is an automatic hover uh, mode, and, uh, and we, we do like that, especially uh, there, there are definitely times when even with night vision goggles uh, that there are limited visual cues and having that automatic hover capability uh, is great at relieving the pilot of some of uh, the work. The rescue hoist al allows us to do what I would characterize as true uh, emergency rescue work. Uh, none of the other op local operators that I'm familiar with have rescue hoists, uh, so that's just not what they do, uh, that's what we do. Uh, not everybody has to have one of those. That allows us to get to people that otherwise you, you couldn't get to. Uh, and I'm talking about the areas such as Enchanted Rock and the, the Green Belt. Uh, you could get to them, but it's going to take a lot longer. And you bring the helicopter in and we can hoist them out and get them to medical care in minutes where it might otherwise take hours. You know, a really big defining fire season for this program was probably 2011, where we had, people will remember the Bastrop fire because you know, there's dramatic pictures and stuff, but we also had three very large fires burning in Travis County that day. Bastrop is just to the east of us. But that whole summer, it was so dry and so hot, it was not uncommon to go on two fires a day. And so you would come in and I probably did more fires that summer as a crew member than I did um, actual medical transports because uh, it, was, it was that busy. Probably the, one of the first things you notice about the, the cockpit are all the, uh, the displays. Uh, so we've got three large uh, electronic displays in the aircraft and it really is a computerized helicopter. Uh, so you'll have the three main displays that give the pilot and the crew you know, a lot of flight information. Uh, but you also have a couple of touch screens that are, that are kind of nice and uh, give you all your lighting options, your air conditioning options, uh, radio and navigation setup. Uh, everything's on that touchpad and it's right there by the pilot. So that is nice to have that. Uh, has a four access, a four channel autopilot, uh, which is nice. Um, there are a lot of helicopters that are, that are doing that now. Um, I flew a four-axis uh, autopilot in the Seahawk that I flew in the Navy, and it's nice having that capability in a civilian helicopter again.